Hello to all young people. Today we are going to know a very interesting project. We are with the architect, Mario Diaz. Architect, very good day. Hello, Abraham. How are you? Glad to be here with you. Tell us, please, where? We are, we are in a subdivision called Pradras de Tonayan in Tonala, Jalisco. And so welcome to the Casa Pradras. Excellent. Excellent. We are in a context quite, quite beautiful. We're a bit on the edges, aren't we? Yes. Tona is a municipality in the metropolitan area of Guadalajara, but is located to the east of the city. And we are to the east of the east. And now let's talk about the project, the land. What are its dimensions? What were the challenges of this great work? Or well, more than challenges, they were benefits to apply in our project, weren't they? Within these benefits, as I was telling you a few moments ago, the land, being on the outskirts of the metropolitan area, offered us a relatively low cost compared to what we have in the metropolitan area or in the West, for example. It was almost a gift, right? Another very important thing, because it was the location. We are far away, but close. So it was of the important points. And the subdivision is an open subdivision. But that keeps that, that community, that touch of security also that we saw a while ago. Mm. Moving on to the land, because the land also had its very good considerations. One, because it was the view, opens the land to a common area of 4,000 square meters back there that is part of the donation area. That gave the subdivision to the city council. So the lot is very small. It's 7 by 20. Very small for a very large family of sit. But it has that benefit. Very good that is the common area of 4,000 square meters. There you cannot build anything. You're always going to have that great view. We will always have that donation area. Mar? Because the view that offers us the ravine, and that is already federal land, and that so now it is, that we will not be able to have, at least in a good time. The neighbors to the back and the slope that was interesting, we have a little bit of unevenness between Sarah, sidewalk, and the lowest point. R. It is two meters, nothing more. And that gave us enough to make a land. A project in a very interesting terrain, isn't it? And look how interesting is also how to see the empty space. The empty space, you can't imagine how much can fit. That's how it is when we were just in construction and we came to see it. Well, nobody imagined that in such a small space that was the foundation platform would reach, for example, an armchair or a whole family there, right? Now let's see if we can see it. And I think we can fit in it. And this is the art, and therein lies the art of architect. That's right, looking for the last centimeter. Exactly. And here it is cool, because this is the before and after. Our land was the same, with that same slope, with those same features. But there is the, what you can have as land, and maybe what you. And this one is for sale. And this one is for sale. Yes. It's not as cheap as it was 10 years ago, but it's a lot cheaper than living in Thie. West side. I mean, do you get to 500,000 pesos already? It is no longer. Just kidding. That is, you get to 500,000 pesos. Right now, it's at 500,000. That's right. That's what he wants. You got it right. You got it right. For you to see, young people. The facade. Outwards, you were telling me that it closes. Yeah, it closes. Yes. Being an open subdivision, there's also no building regulation. Yes, not internal. Okay. Obviously, the municipality has a building regulation, and it is the one that governs us are, for example, restrictions. Apart from being a small lot, it has restrictions. Uh, 7 by 20, okay. Uh, 7 by 20. But it is uh, H4, and that forces you to have two meters in front without building, which we, for reasons of the garage, we left a little more. We left five meters, but you can't have roof construction in two meters. And in the back, you cannot have 
construction in three meters, right? Okay. There are no sides, but that's the right thing to do. But as for the, uh, the closed facade, there are many self-built parts, works that have been done in 20 years. Well, not everyone respects the regulations and the issue of security was also important. So we decided to close the facade towards the street. But the land asked to open on another side which fortunately is north facing which allows you to make some large windows and the least favored facade was the one facing the street because it is the west orientation right and that's that what i was going to tell you and that's what i was going to tell you if the facade was south or west sorry it's south south right sorry it's south right he's right it's getting hit by the sun with everything yes there they say that tonala is where the sun rises so they are coming from sapotlanejo the sun rises there. Ah, we are east. Yes, it is east. Then it comes here to the south. In fact, right now, because of the season, it is almost lead. And the winter gets a little bit lower. All right. In fact, and we have the west on that side. Okay, so here for safety reasons, for reasons of you, and for reasons of, we were very pleased to have this. Someone recommended us to be all closed for security. But someone recommended us to be open for security reasons. So... We also wanted to play a little bit. A balance. And yes, if someone is inside and asks for help, and you can't see it, it's not cool, right? So, and besides that, architecturally we feel like you were invited. Fantasia to here. Here is the main entrance. And this is where you have to enter. And the tree, the tree plays a fundamental role there. The friggin' Cisimo tree that we brought from a construction site that was going to be demolished. And here we adopt it, here it fit. This is a ray in youngsters and now let's see what's inside. A very beautiful myrtle tree of many years old. And we thought it was a shame to cut it. Yes, yes, we took it out, but we adopted it. And that it survives. Yes, and another challenge was to make it survive. So we had to put rooting and stuff like that, right? And this is not an Orion. This is a Tamachin. This is a Tabachin, that's right. Tabachin. This one was practically born here. It was a, a little thing of nothing. It was a wand. And you liked your house, didn't you? And all the shade it gives, right? So here we begin to understand garage for two cars with a metal. Structure with glass above to protect a little. All of that. This is how it is. This is how it is. You know, it's here. And the idea is that you go on deck even a little bit, right? That you run without getting wet. Excellent. Good. Good. That's the magic. Let's go inside. Right. Recall that the ground went down two meters. Two meters down. Yes. And it keeps going down two meters. This looks great. Let's go inside. And the house welcomes you and tells you where you want to go, right? If the staircase became a distributor, the land is very small. The needs were many, and we couldn't afford the luxury of... I was afraid of having a huge distributor. But I think it was necessary. There where you are, I think it's the precise place to receive someone. And then, a little step later, the staircase begins, right? But they share that space too. Very well. You go up five steps and reach the area. Already, to the private area, to the private area. We have their white doors, white wall. And somehow this tree gives you a little bit of privacy. The steps tell you to wait for me here. No, this. And those planters, for example, also cover a little bit the lattice of the railing, but they were useful to anchor the railing because we don't have any posts here. Then, inside the planters, there are rods that helped us so that the handrail would not. Here it varies. Don't do this, right? Then give us privacy. Help us with the theme. And they are natural? No. We have a little bit of still life. We are very worried about the irrigation issue, the humidity. Yes, because we have to water and then this overhang may get dirty with the irrigation issue. So no way we had to put their artificial. And here, these are natural. This is a little gardener. And, and are they natural? That's it, isn't it? Humidity. Oh, artificial. Artificial. It's waterproofed in here. It has natural soil and all these are natural plants. A European olive tree. And here we leave the topic of irrigation 
From here we... From here you can open it. Okay, okay, okay. Here we have a... To not have to be struggling with the hose, the bucket, and so on. And here you have a train. It's connected to the... To the pits. For level issues, we count, we know the... Oh, the drains all towards the street. Of course you have the part below. Yes, as we went down two meters, it does not give us with the level. Then the bathroom we have. Up there, that one is connected to the street. But here we have to put a pit. What is a one cubic meter treatment plan? This one was authorized by Hology. With that, the building permit was also obtained. And there's a little treatment plant that receives everything down here. No, this space is great, isn't it? It grows down. But it also grows up. Yes. The conquest. What do you call it? Concatenation. Exactly. Makes you be downstairs. But you join the two floors, don't you? Interesting. Also, how you play with the skylight. Because in this part of the distributor, you feel the heat. Because of the time, but you just pass to the shade. Bah. And it cools down. That's right. And it cools down. That's right. Yes. It is a circulation space. In winter, the light reaches about half of the room. The crystals have UV protection. Then let's hope it doesn't get damaged. It lowers the temperature a little bit. But above all, it protects the furniture, for example, in the dressing rooms. We do not like the domes, for example. Many people. Because the clothes discolor, we do not want that to happen with the room. So they put UV filter. And the supplier promises that nothing will happen. So we will happen. Have to believe him. You have to trust it. Let them trust. And the staircase as it turns around, right? That is, you make the turn to take advantage and have the thought. Widest living room space. Yes, ready. Yes, and the same hallway we have upstairs, we reflect it downstairs. I think those kind of decisions are the ones that save you space. Because you make like mirrors and not. Nah. You don't cross spaces, do you? Oh, here the house looks gigantic. If you gain height and a half, or double full height. Yes, yes. Oh, what's up? We start with 2.4 therein of that volume, but as it goes down, it gives you 18 more. That we went to the maximum heights of the penalties. We do them all the time. Minimum of 15, so that it is not stumbling. Maximum of 18, so that it is not now at all. Then 18. Plus 18, plus 18. So here we already have 2.98 more or less. That. Cosina. Cosina. No. no. That here, you already lower the level by the theme of the roof. But still retains a good proportion by the theme of the steps. It feels very spacious. The width here we have, like 3.5, 3.2. In. 3.2. Is it 7 meters? Ah. Uh -huh. And access to the center. Because if... We leave more wing, you take away space to the bedroom, for example. If you make more bedrooms, you take away from the living room. So, half and half. So it's 7 meters minus 20, 20, and 20 from the wall. That's 6 foot. Thing. So between 2. Between 2, 3, 20, if we give 5 centimeters less, we no longer fit. And I think it was just a 3.2. And you can see that it fits perfect. That is, we have the deck. Yes. What distance do you leave between decks? 60 centimeters becomes that is 60 of hallway but the hallway here it's 90 centimeters 90 we would have liked more we struggled to put the referee for example because we put it in the back of the house but the idea is that only one person works here right this and other houses for example where we have the space well 1.1 1.2 1 is appreciated of course in a project if we left 30 centimeters more we would take it away from this bar, or we would take it away from the corridor. So, 90 just enough for one person to work. Just one, right? Oh, no. That fits very well, the island and then the bar. Ah, here we thought 30 centimeters. We had to be 40, because if not, it does not fit a plate, right? So, those 10 centimeters make the difference to fit exactly your plate and your glass. Because it is. It's a dining room bar. It's a dining room bar. We don't have a dining room. Uh-huh, no, and you need it. No, do you miss it? No, because it actually does the function, the bar. Of course, we are six, two, four, six. And there we end perfectly. My wife, who is the, uh, my wife.
has commissioned the house. We have our assigned places, don't we? This one is hers. Precisely because there is not much space here. So as she is the one who does the kitchen, she is the one who can move here and sit whenever she wants. And the best view, according to me, of, of this space is this chair. This is mine. Ah, uh, isn't it? No? You have a view over there. Towards the double height? Towards the wings? Now that we have the door open, it works as window seed. Uh, uh-huh. And even with the, uh, with the neighbor's house, which fortunately has many plants, as it lets us see that green planter there. Here we have the cellis when the water mirror which we are now using as a pond. Hopefully I can tame it. It's, it's quite a theme. Let's see. Tell us. The, the pond I thought it was. A hole with water. And plants inside that took care of everything, right? Error. It is a whole ecosystem that has a pH, has a temperature oxygenation. Not all species of fish are there. Right now we have some koi's there that are the ones that withstand the temperature outside. That jet is too oxygenic. We had to put filter. That was not planned, and that's why we have all those plants there. Covering it, and we are learning, right? There are many products for these ecosystems, but it is a mini ecosystem. But yes, you are right. This is the good view. Exactly. One, two, three views, and they're in that chair. And you also told me that these windows are open, allowing you to extend the area. Yes, that's right. We have 3.2. That's what allows us to do kitchen. But... Then that does not. Doesn't take away from the fact that the architect puts a little bit of science into this and say if we have seven meters, because you have to make a kitchen of seven meters. And these windows are traversed like this to create this visual effect of spaciousness. So, and the temperature changes too. No, totally. The air enters the, it's cross ventilation with the door window and this refreshed. And how do you achieve it? Tell us about the structure. Modulitos of 3 and 20. And here was a column. It makes the most sense. Here we put a column to open these windows when it was being assembled on site. Around, I don't know, I sat in the living room space and we decided that this column didn't need to either. So we uh, uh, recalculated with the engineer who helps us with the structure. And this little beam was born. Ah, you see that? Remove the shoe here. Right there. And we solve with this beam, a 12 inch beam that solves the clearing perfectly fine. And I think that it was the best success of the house. It really will, huh? because it gives you that amplitude of seven meters and joins the kitchen with. With the little terrace, that this is an easement, but well, it was used very well. Wow, very spacious here. Yes. And also, aesthetically, looks very well also the beam, supporting the overhang of this piece that extends. Structurally, the beam that is perpendicular did not need to be of the same pedestal. It was 10 past 12, but to make it look a little more aesthetic and in a single element, we decided to make that little piece also 12. No, okay. Here you can see the logical thing I was telling you that reminded me of these Australian houses. This space with the furniture very integrated, narrow, but very well used. Yes, we like simple things. If you're going to put a vase, we like it to be a vase because as there are few spaces, you cannot fill things. Well, one thing, but we like it a lot, right? And in general, so is the kitchen is a black grand tote module with a little great detail there and now we have even a little space left over with so much furniture right we'll fill it up they don't hear it even even great yes the axis they drew is perfectly understood very good well let's get to know what's going on in that illusion and i want to show you something initially this was a big gate but to go out to walk the doggy we had to open it all up and it's heavy then we made this little door which is the everyday little door, isn't it? What? Uh, what's cool about this? It's all moving. It just keeps on moving. Not here. 
by the weight of the little door. The, this one goes down a little bit, but we solved it with this little post here and that allows us to enjoy the common area without touching it. Some of the earth we pulled out of here. We put it here as part of the same land. And we got this little terrace. It's another seven by seven. Goodies. Going. This one then. In some event, this is open. We put some tables here. I was telling you we have the side entrance. And because everything can enter through there, we assemble here. We open, and we have a party. God. Oh, hey. Now, how did they calculate the weight of this big door? Because we were seeing that it's the seven and meters and nothing was hanging. Wow. What? My blacksmith didn't want to make it. Yes, no. Now, that was a no. <laughs> this. Those are tubular. They are not PTR, as I mean. We wanted to make it as light as possible, this grill. is a zero grill. It is double for safety reasons, but they are still very light tubes. And then we white had to make that bevel. For fear issues, it's the fear factor. And this kind of posts, right? The little post here, there is a little heel that receives the gate so that it is not always hanging, but can be supported, and we do not spend so much effort, right? Let it always be supported. And so this is going to be... I don't know how long we will have this freedom. But the day someone tells us something, we close the gate and stay as we were, right? We remain as... It's okay. Yes. Hey, how different what it is. No. Uh, in construction and uh, architecture, right? Yes, this. Uh, we start the same day, but they decided to fill in. There's a lot of resource underneath. And here that resource was used in another way. So we offered our services. We couldn't agree for free. We wanted to do something like an architect called Coda Parades. I don't know if you can find him. In Gaby's house, we wanted to do a good deed, but it was not possible. We couldn't. So that's where we took her, right? And yes. Oh. Yes. But they are worlds apart. Sometimes we started this channel, I think, with a video that was called Good Architecture, Bad Architecture. That good architecture was the one that was integrated to the topography to the orography and bad architecture was the one that fought against them. They fight? Yes, even there, there is a theme, for example, of water. Water seeks to recognize downward. Some whose walls have fallen down because the water wants to pass and you don't let it. You fight against the natural flow and that leads to unnecessary expenses from our point of view. And well, etc, 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 etc. And many etc. But this is all good stuff. From architecture. We treat. No? Well... Cool. <laughs> and then if you could share with us a little bit of the cost per square meter of construction, I think it would be excellent. Because we also see the resource savings, right? This is how it is. Not to feel. Savings. That is, you get rid of retaining walls. We only have a retaining wall. This, and it is no longer all that we have there are fills. Then there is a saving in fill, in bringing material that was not here within the land. And there is a savings, the foundation slab is our floor, and we traced our foundation slab, we put in the installations, and we sneak in. And so far, that's the floor we have, isn't it? This one was only cleaned as much as possible. It was obviously taken care of in the construction process. Two years we've been taking care of the floor here, and I think we had a good result. Even here, you can see a little bit of wear and tear. We appreciate it because it's starting to get more texture. As terrazzo. As if it were a terrazzo, and we only put floor wax on it. Tan tan. Here's another saving. And the theme of separating the house into a also represents a saving. We don't have huge clearings. Here we did it because it was needed to make the space bigger. But here, it's four inch beams. And we didn't put more little ones because there aren't any. The constructive system is steel beams with vault tiles, which was also faster. And in very short spaces, the beams were that small. So there is also a saving there. So I was telling you about the price of this house. Then it's like 11,000 pesos, more or less. 11,000 pesos per square meter. That is very cheap, right? A square meter. Well, because if it was an idea, what you can reach, don't be. 
an inexpensive plot of land, a cheap house, and with goodness I think of a house. Well resolved, isn't it? Anywhere in Australia could be this house. Oh, uh, Daytona lot. No. Great. 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 Well, let's see. Let's meet some bedroom architect, please. Yes. Downstairs, we have a master bedroom in case we decide to stay here for a long time. And our knees can't take it anymore. Here we have a choice, don't we? Excellent. Yes. Uh, in the carpentry, we also had to play a little bit with the materials, too. Are of the concepts most expensive of a house? So this is a melamine. Nothing else. 15 millimeters of melamine. A veneer? No lacquer here. No lacquer here no lacquer anywhere is a melamine and we had to enlarge just a little bit here which we did as a detail to receive the sheet metal that comes in five centimeter cylinder this and i think it worked out well Pass. very nice and there the sill is the same as the 15 multi melamine this is a sheet of melamine because also the quartering was done in such a way that everything was used meaning we cut the sheet and with the waist, we made the frames, right? Okay. Then, out there, the tops were also made with the same piece. And everything is like this. The sheets are also very cheap there, our friends of Bullness. They had a super offer in Providencia. Hello, Claro. And also super cheap. Are they solid? They are not tubular. Then also there for a win, given away almost, almost. Greeting. Friends of... I want a lunar door. That's... The other day I saw in one of your reports the... Magnet tops. Ah. That's the best investment of your life. Yes, very cheap as they told you. Very, very cheap. You find them in Mercado Libro, Amazon, wherever. But for this type of door we could not put it. Because as it is very thin, paste the magnet and when you open it, you force the door, and it does this. Okay, then there, yes, there, yes, there, yes, no longer held the door. But I think for the function that has this is perfect, is perfect without. If you don't tell me, I'll notice it was a melamine because of fit. A melancholy? It is usually drum. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, but I don't even notice the thickness then. No, because on the outside, look. Yes, you can't tell from the outside. The architect did his job. So, upstairs we have then a parapet because also the height the higher it was. It was going to wobble more because it was too thin so we cut it there. Move coin sides throughout the first floor which is also another detail that we like. And from the outside you see a normal door. Completely. Exactly. And that it fulfills the function especially here in the bedroom. Well it's a house where the family is. You don't need security doors and stuff. There we just put a little lock for anything, and so, so. But from there on, well, well, your veneer. A bedroom of very good dimension. You were telling me 320. 320. This is 354 meters, if I remember correctly. Okay. No, 3 meters. 350. The 350 fulfills it for you very well. Yes, because we have two meters from the bed. I buy it very well. And about 75 centimeters in each bureau. Fair, nothing left over, right? There's nothing left over, but the king size fits perfectly well. But it fits perfectly well, that's right. Perfectly the king size. As you were saying, the space spreads out nicely. With this patio, your bedroom is too small, but your view is too big, isn't it? Here, really, the bedroom is as if it were miles and miles and miles and miles. By Pimpin. Uh, and we want uh, you get over there? Yes. Santana. Very good. That painting had no frame. With leftover melamine, we made a little mark. So, there was nothing left over. I think there were three pieces of melamine left over. And the headboard too? The headboard is two pieces of melamine. We cut in half because there is not a melamine. 
so big. We did that little detail. It was 122 minus the little detail. So we didn't have to buy another strip, but cut it to the same plate. And with what was left over, we made the two donkeys. No? Looks super cool, huh? Yes. Then I think that also, obviously, helped the house cost 11,000 pesos with everything. And the headboards, for example, right? Okay, okay. The desks. No, no. Sorry. For the dump, but... And the furniture also to the V8. This is how it is. The ceiling remains. In fact... Yes, that's right. And so that we have storage space. It's not a big house, so we had to find a way. How many square meters of construction? 140 meters. How many square meters of construction? It is breathtaking. Yes. Ten years of searching and searching and searching and searching and searching and searching and searching where to reach. Such a big family in such a small space. How many proposals are there? Because you did it. Yeah, different proposals like, I don't know, maybe 20. Uh, looking for materials, looking for dimensions, looking for modulations. Looking for how, yes. Closets. This room is perfect. It's like two lines of... Two meters. Two lines of... Two lines of... Two. Point two. Aha. Uh -huh. And 60 centimeters here. 60 centimeters there and then. It is practically a transitional space. But finally we use it for two people. No, there's good space between the two closets, like a meter 20, right? That's right, so... For, for example, this piece of furniture... Uh, is not usually used. Can be a person who. Ah. And we look for the way. Maybe if I went back in time a little bit, I would have put some sliding doors here, maybe. Ah. Okay. So it doesn't steal your hallway space. So as not to do this, right? Okay. 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 Stand back because I'm going to open the door. No, maybe some sliding doors would have been appreciated. But that's where I wrote it down. Yeah, man, that's good. Feel the pace of the walk. That's good stuff, youngsters. Aim well. Yes. And the bathroom. I feel like I'm in the cabin of, I don't know, of an airplane, of a boat. I do. Are very small spaces, but that work, and where you cannot waste anything, because you have to give the junction, but with the minimum necessary, right? These sinks are cool because they're also deeper, right? Here we have a 40 centimeter stone retaining wall, but we couldn't slot the installations into the stone wall. So we had to make a double wall to hide them there. Here you can see it, look. Uh, wall. I saw it, I got it. It is to put the pipes of the sinks, toilet, and nothing else. But we cover that here with the cover that is, here is the wall inside, so it gives you 10 more centimeters. And you already have a 70 bar. That gives you a lot of view. It gives you a lot of view. A little while ago, we were with the master Andres Casillas, and he makes them up to 80 to 90. Absolutely beautiful. It looks super nice because you fill it with pots and all. Here she lets us put the vases, the towel, and has this very comfortable space here. Yeah. In the long sense, how long is it? This has the same 3-2-M. Uh, just washed basins. Ah, a wash basin's about 50. Perfect, I like that size, don't you? About 50 fits very well, two sinks already. I like that size. 75 centimeters is not 90 of a watering can, but if 75 centimeters you do this. Aha. Uh -huh. And the other person doesn't bother. Minimum necessary, dot, dot. Optimal minimum. Yes, the bathroom, 80 centimeters, same, optimal minimum. Okay, and the shower, 90 centimeters, 90. And then the bathroom, complete in the short sense, how long is it? Two meters. No, sorry. 1.6 here and there, you have 1.4. Yes, 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 1.6. And here it's more because. And here. Because it, it gets the half bath of uh, the stretch. And it, 
Ah, you stretched it a little bit there. Yes, because if not, it was not enough. This is the difference between reaching the guest toilet or not reaching it. Let's go over there at 30 key centimeters. Yes. That's right. I really like the shower also in his cabin. Two showers. Uh, two showers, yes. That's the key to success. That's the key to success. That is? Yes. And you also have natural ventilation, which it seemed that it didn't have, but it did. That towards the garage, that's... Yes, right, yes. And especially for the shower, which is where the vapors and so on are generated, right? Someone also said in... I'm a fan of code phrase. Then some of your reports, also with Kamala, I think. Uh, there's an architect who said, if you can do double duty. Do it! Ah, greetings. Greetings to the architect. Architect pipe, because if it saves us at least the morning discussion, I totally agree with him if you can. So I know it. Always. Uh, very nice. Even the sound changes. They're the most private space, and here you come back to. And now let's get into the half bath. To the half bath. Another miracle of this house. Let's go inside. Here it is sliding. Here, if there was no other sliding or sliding error. How big is it? 70 centimeters? 70. 70 centimeters, yes. Yes. There fits a toilet and a sink. It's bigger than the bathroom of an airplane. Yes. Yes. And also the mirror strategy, right? It is there. Yes, that is the space. And on this side, what do we have? On this side, we have the laundry room, which is part of the staircase, but we had to put it somewhere. So here was the idea of it being black. The volume is to hide a little more. What do you pay more attention to? Uh, to the half bath, that. That to the maid's room. This one also looked great. Oh, just what? But it fits. It works perfect, yes. Very well. Now let's go upstairs. Let's see what happens when you decide to go upstairs.